All right, I'm going to do a quick follow-up video to my other NVIDIA AMD in one rig video. This one I'm going to do a 3070 and a 5700 XT. I'm doing this because someone asked a question about the uh, more modern AMD and NVIDIA cards, so I will let it rip. The first thing I'm going to do is get the AMD card sorted out. So the 5700 XT is in. Uh, I've actually never mined on this before. I just have this in my video editing computer. So I'm going to take a minute to learn the settings and not surprisingly I'm going to turn the power limit way down and I'm going to increase the VRAM tuning up to 1900. Uh, I believe there's some programs you can use to increase it beyond 1900 but that's the set limit for this graphics card. And what I find through nice hash is that it'll hit 55 mega hash on Ethereum no problem without any major tuning. So now I got an idea of where I want the graphics card to hit and what you know the ideal mega hash is. So I'm going to close the program that comes with the AMD drivers and I'll try the exact same thing on Afterburner and I'm going to get the exact same result if memory clock is at 1900 and the power limit is pushed down to the negative 30% level you're going to end up with about 55 mega hash on Ethereum. So that's pretty easy. So now I'll insert the 3070 and things become a lot less easy, but I do get it to work. And this is obviously using Windows instead of Hive OS. If you're using something like Hive OS, it's probably going to be a little bit easier, I would imagine. So anyway, I'll boot the computer up with these two graphics cards in and not surprisingly, there's no issues. Um, because I have both drivers already installed on this computer, it's pretty much ready to go. If you just put in the NVIDIA card for the first time, obviously you might need to do some work on the drivers. Uh, if you're having issues, it is also a good idea to hit update on your drivers. And you can see in the afterburner tools that both graphics cards are being recognized. So again, just using nice hash, I'm going to turn the AMD GPU off. I'm going to flip over to the NVIDIA card. I'm going to turn off everything except for Phoenix Miner because that's probably what you're going to use right now. And I'm just going to mess around with the settings in Afterburner. I'm not too concerned about getting like perfect settings here. This is really just demonstrational. But again, no big mystery on these NVIDIA cards. The memory clock is going to go way up and the power limit is going to go down to somewhere in the 65 to 75 percent level and it should end up with about 60 mega hash in Ethereum, which I got. So I know where I want it to be. Now, the first thing I tried was running the two cards just through the MSI Afterburner program, and I had some stability issues. I think they're both on Phoenix Miner, but just two different variants of it. Um, eventually, the AMD card would just sort of stop. It would hash down to zero. So I went into the virtual memory and I cranked that and I doubled it from 8,000 to 16,000 and set that and then I went back to the miner and tried it again. This time I took my settings for the 3070, completely shut down Afterburner and went into the AMD tools. Now again, I had them both on, I think, Phoenix Miner, um, but they run on two different programs. And again, eventually, I don't think I have a video of it, but eventually the AMD card starts hashing lower and lower until it hits zero and then everything sort of freezes up. So I took the AMD card off of the Phoenix version and threw it onto LOL Miner, which is where I had a lot more success with the Vega 64 cards that I have. So now I have the AMD card on LOL Miner and the NVIDIA card on Phoenix. Now this configuration was a lot more stable, but just using MSI Afterburner for both eventually crashed. Um, it always seemed like the AMD program would try and do something uh, to adjust the card and it would freeze everything up. So the most stable configuration I found was to set the MSI Afterburner settings for the 3070 and save it and then close that program out and then I restarted the whole computer. I did not touch MSI Afterburner but I opened up the AMD driver tools and then adjusted the AMD card and then started the miner. 
and then everything worked. So it was a little bit more painful than using the Vega 64 card with the Nvidia cards, but it, it was doable and I got it working for about 45 minutes to an hour before I, I finally shut it down and put my rig back together. So it is doable, but it is harder. If I had to choose, I would prefer to run maybe the Vega cards or RX 580s, but the, the new, I guess, 5700s, and I'm gonna assume the 6800s are the same. They do work together in Windows, but it is a little bit more painful. Uh, I don't think they really like working together as much. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.